Hi guys, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another review. Today I'm going to be talking about I Hate Susie, which is currently available to stream on Stan. The good news is I did not hate Susie. I very much enjoyed it. So let's get started. The series was co-created by its star Billy Piper and Lucy Preble. This is an eight part series with each episode named after a stage of grief. We've got shock, denial, fear, shame, bargaining, guilt, anger and acceptance. Each of the episodes really ties into these themes, making them all really different to each other. It tells the story of Susie, which kind of reflects the life of Billy Piper herself. Susie starts as a child pop star who is currently a semi-famous actress who is just trying to maintain a stable career as she gets older. On the very day that we meet Susie, she has just received the incredible news that she is going to be cast as a Disney princess, which would be the absolute highlight of her career so far. Unfortunately, just moments later, she also discovers that scandalous photos of herself and another man have been leaked online. And even more unfortunately, that man in the photos is not the man that she's married to. The episodes that follow are all about Susie trying to save her marriage, make a career comeback, hold on to the Disney gig, try and be a good mum, a good friend, a good daughter, and it really does tackle a lot of issues. It deals with anxiety, mental health, feminism, self-worth and self self-loathing. <laughs> Relationships, identity, success, fame, careers, everything. It's a lot and that's what I really like about it. Just as humans we all deal with so much in our lives every single day and that's what this show is trying to do too. It's not just focusing on one aspect of someone's life, it's dealing with all the issues that are thrown at you. I saw an interview with Billy Piper where she said she wanted to make this show feel really immersive. When you're watching this you absolutely feel there in the shoes of Susie or whichever other character while they're going through these crazy ordeals. For example, in the shock episode, which is the first one, that's when Susie finds out about these photos online. It doesn't let up for the whole episode. You two are on the edge of your seat, just feeling this terror that she's feeling at the same time. That first episode especially is really well done. The other key players in this series are Susie's husband, played by Daniel Ings, his name is Cobb. I did feel like he was the kind of underwritten character. He's the one that gets cheated on and goes through this horrible experience, but all we really see from him is anger and bitterness, and he's just kind of made to be the bad guy and in a one dimensional way. He also is given some pretty creepy character traits throughout that make you just really dislike him. So I think he's just meant to be hated, and they do a good job of making him very unlikable. And then we have Susie's manager, Naomi who is played by Layla Fazard and she is really a lifeline to Susie throughout this whole series. She's the one that Susie can call at any time of day or night for support. She's her best friend as well as her manager but as the series goes on we do see her flaws come to light. She's grappling with really big issues herself including motherhood and relationships and juggling a career. I found this show honestly really gripping. It was definitely different to anything that I've seen before. I think Billy Piper in this role was absolutely fantastic. She's not afraid to go to the ends of the earth with this character. She doesn't shy away from doing anything embarrassing or gross or just terrible for her character in general. Um, and it's that that really makes you appreciate her character and feel like she's relatable. Despite showing us her flaws, she also has a great sense of humor and manages to approach every disaster in her life with a smile on her face. And she also has some really beautiful moments of acting that just made me cry. The show is definitely entertaining and binge worthy. The episodes are only about half an hour long, so it makes it really easy to watch it in a large chunk. It's very fast paced. As I said, each episode's very different, so you never know what you're going to get. And I think that's what kept me coming back. And it definitely uses some techniques that I think were really effective. It uses flashbacks really well. And I don't know if they were dream sequences or more imagination sequences, but we're really drawn into the mind of the characters and we get to see these theatrical scenes that are purely in the head of these characters. I thought it was really original, creative, fun. There was one or two episodes in the middle that I felt weren't as strong as some of the others. For a rating, I'm going to give it three and a half stars just because 
there were those small elements like the fact that Cobb's character just didn't feel fully fleshed out and that there were those slightly dragging episodes but I've also seen other people online that absolutely loved this show but it was a very entertaining watch I think the fact that it's tackled so many issues that perhaps aren't talked about as much including mental health make it quite a groundbreaking show anyway my camera decided to delete the last section of my video so I will have to leave this here but as always thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you next time